So as I'm cleaning up from doing this video, I noticed it's leaking. I don't know where it's leaking from, but I got water everywhere. Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a look at this jellyfish mood lamp. So you fill this thing up with water, turn it on, it's got lights all different colors, and these things are supposed to, little jellyfish supposed to go up and down. So we'll see if that works out. Real quick, it's almost 12 inches tall. You can use it battery operated, or there is a barrel connector to plug into a USB port. It does come with the cord, so you can plug it into a wall or use batteries. You're going to fill it with water. I always use distilled water for these kinds of devices. This one actually says to put two drops of liquid detergent in. I guess you could use dish soap. That's what I'm going to try. I haven't had to do that before. Look at right off the top. We got a blemish in the plastic and it's right in front. So that's too bad. Here we have a power button and it looks like a light button. You get two jellies with it. You also get a remote. It takes AAA batteries, which are not included. You need two of those. You get a user manual. And you also get this little stick that I guess they said if the jellies get stuck, you can kind of move them around with the thing. Also, if it gets an air bubble up underneath it, that you got to press out the air bubble for it to work properly so you can use the little stick for that. One other thing I noticed before we get too carried away... It's only 12 inches tall, why can't this sit flat? So we got a couple things right off the top. It says to leave 5 millimeters at the top, but I'm in America, so I have no idea what 5 millimeters is. I'm going to say that much. Now a little bit of soap. It says two drops, we'll do our best. Does that count as a drop? <laughs> Alright. I'm going to say that was two drops. Next step is to throw in the jellies. Get in there, jelly. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Looks kind of nice. Let's turn off the lights. So the power button was on the left. Looks like the button on the right will change the colors. I got this one jelly it's acting like a dead fish. Let's see, maybe we got air in there. Yeah, there's lots of air bubbles. Let's get all these air bubbles off of them. I'm just gonna stir them up. Get off my stick! Get off of my stick. I'm going to beat him. I'll beat the air bubbles out of you. Oh, man. That green one, that thing's doing good. It's bouncing all over. This pink one, it's not liking me or something. Get your air bubble out, sucker. Get that air bubble out. So somehow, you're going to be able to see the remote to hit the buttons, but then you can't really tell what the light's doing, but it's okay, we'll figure this out. So let's just see. Off. On. That works. Brighter. Must be full brightness. 
dimmer. Got it. Works. White light. Blue light. Red light. Yellow light. Mm, looks green to me. That's the actual green light. Okay. We have a four hour timer, a six hour timer, or a eight hour timer. I believe this is going to... Hey, you can see this slowly fades to different colors. And strobe quickly is changing. And here's flash. My yeah, flash is really fast. So there's all your different things on the remote. Pretty cool. I wish it was a little bit more solid. That's weird that it rocks, but I guess once it's there, it's fine. And I thought the jellies would move up and down more. They talk about getting the air bubbles out, but I mean, maybe I need more soap. Should I put more soap in it and see what it does? Worst thing is we got cleaner jellies. I mean, I can see the air bubbles out of them, but what am I going to do? What am I going to do to get the air bubbles out? I tried beating it. tried stirring it. I don't know what else we got here. They definitely like floating. Get down. Get down. Boy, they're in a hurry to get to the top, too. Well, I'm one for two on floating jellies. One of them's just a dead fish. I'm not sure where the leak started, but you can see it going through the battery compartment, which is nice. But either way... Hmm. Say not good. Would you say not good? I'd say not good.